We're entering week five of the college football season. People have been placing bets, but sometimes your preseason bets just don't pan out. You know, a lot of people like to bet on the Heisman before the season. Well, week four, depending on who you're betting on, they might be eliminated already, just depending on their situation. So I'm going to give you three guys to not bet on for the rest of the year and three guys which I think are great values at this point. If you want to take advantage of sports books, what to do to take advantage of all of the new sports books and all the benefits, especially with our brand, consider signing up for your next sports book, going to signupexpert.com slash redshirt. Look at all of these benefits. You got Caesars, you got BetMGM, BetRivers, and there's plenty more where that came from. Like I said, that's signupexpert.com slash redshirt. First guy I'm telling you here not to waste your money on is Quinn Ewers. Ewers is plus 500 for the Heisman right now. And honestly, guys, I don't think this is worth putting your money down on. The schedule is not favorable for the rest of the year. He's got two big games the next two weeks against Kansas and Oklahoma. But after that, it really tapers off. The Heisman's won in November, and their four games in November are Kansas State, TCU, Iowa State, and Texas Tech. Yeah, they might make the Big 12 championship. You know, if he goes 12-0, and he's certainly going to be in the conversation. But honestly, I just don't think he's going to be able to put up the stats that are going to match a Heisman candidate this year. Plus 500, wouldn't waste your money on it. Second guy I wouldn't waste my money on, Sam Hartman. Sam Hartman is plus 2,000 odds right now. He's already got the disadvantage of only playing 12 games in a year because he doesn't have a conference championship game. He also just lost to Ohio State at home. You know, you don't need to go undefeated, but it sure helps, especially when Notre Dame just pretty much needs to go undefeated to make the college football playoff. They're not out yet, but 11-1, and one, they'll still need some help. They have a couple of big games. You know, they've got USC. They've got uh, Duke. They've got a couple other big games on their schedule that will allow him to put up some numbers. But he's already played five games. He's got 14 touchdowns. He does not have an interception. But Notre Dame does tend to run the ball a lot more. They're relying on Audric Estimate a lot, who is the leading rusher in the country. I wouldn't waste my money on Sam Hartman. Plus 2,000, not a good value. Third guy I wouldn't waste any money on, this guy, Drake May, North Carolina. Odds have fallen down a little bit. He's still plus 4,000, which might entice some people because they are 4-0. But you got to go and look at Drake May's stats. You know, he's thrown f- only five touchdowns this year, and he's already got four interceptions. He's really not playing like a Heisman caliber quarterback. The schedule also doesn't give him a ton of chances to highlight his skill set. They host Miami. They host Duke. They play at Clemson. Those are the three biggest games left in the year. They don't have Florida State. You know, they played South Carolina. And, you know, he was so-so in that game. He didn't have a touchdown against Appalachian State either. You know, I really think he could throw 30 touchdowns this year and really not even get a sniff at the Heisman. Plus 4,000, really just throwing away your money. There's plenty of other guys in that range that are worth more value at that point. To me, the guy with the best value right here is Cameron Ward, Washington State, plus 3,300 odds. He's already got a win over Wisconsin. He also beat Oregon State last weekend. The schedule lines up for him to have a lot of great chances on national television for him to showcase his talent. They have games at Oregon and at Washington. If you can somehow figure out a way to win both of those games, you're going to be vaulted to the top of this leaderboard. They also have a game against Colorado. They also play UCLA. They've got a couple other easier games with Arizona State, Stanford, and Cal for him to pad his stats a little bit. Washington State's 4-0. They're a legit contender here in the Pac-12 right now. And if anybody wants really good value, look at Cameron Ward. This guy is on fire. This is your last week to really jump on the Bo Nix bandwagon if you want him to win the Heisman. He's at plus 1,000 odds. This weekend, they play Stanford. He's probably going to load up the stat line. He's probably going to throw for a bunch of touchdowns where his odds are going to go into the hundreds at that point. To me, not worth jumping on him at that point. Two weeks from now, they play Washington on October 14th. That is a massive matchup between Michael Penix and Bo Nix. The winner of that game could potentially come out of that game as the Heisman favorite. Bo Nix, with his 11 touchdowns, he's going to have a chance to move up the leaderboard. They also play Washington State. They play Utah. They play Oregon State. They play USC. If Bo Nix finds a way to go 12-0 and or even 11-1, and look for him to be in New York at the end of the year. The last guy I have on this list is Tyler Van Dyke, plus 3,000 odds. Miami's 4-0. They've won every game pretty handedly so far. A&M gave them a little bit of a run for a while, but they end up winning by two scores. And the schedule sets up pretty favorably for Van Dyke to showcase his talent. 
know, they go to North Carolina, they go to Florida State, you know, they host Louisville, they host Clemson. Bunch of games in there for him to showcase his talent on national television. Uh, you know, plus 3,000. I love what he's got going here. The question is, that is for Miami every year, can they hold it up and can they not collapse at some point in the year? Van Dyke has 11 touchdowns, just one interception. He's really been the catalyst of the offense. He's been the machine that's made him go. Last year he was injured and we didn't really get to see him, but he's back and he's healthy. I love his odds at plus 3,000. I think you can get great value here. And the way Miami's moving, I like where they're heading moving forward. Again, guys, if you like our picks, if you hate our picks, jump over to signupexpert.com slash redshirt. Take advantage of all of the sportsbook promotions. You see what Caesars has got, BetMGM, BetRivers, all the sportsbooks that are available in your area. You can take advantage of all the promotions. Make sure if you like us, if you like college football content, hit that follow button, hit that like button, share us with your friends, comment who you think is the best value.